guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Bunny and today we are doing the cheap art supply challenge. So there are two reasons why I'm excited for this challenge. The first one is because I'm feeling rather nostalgic. I was thinking about my past days as an innocent four-year-old discovering for the very first time um, the creative world and the art world and I was infatuated with art from a very early age and I can remember going to the dollar store and seeing this magical place of toys, candy and art supplies and begging my parents and my grandparents to buy things for me and um, it was like anything like watercolor sets to markers like especially the markers that scented like that smelled like something like I think there was like like bubblegum flavor and coca-cola flavor and grape there's all kinds i think you guys know which ones i'm talking about there's another reason why i'm excited for this the second one is just to basically show you guys it's something that i often talk about uh if you guys are starting off in the art world and you're you're beginners or you're young you can't afford things honestly guys just start off with the cheapest stuff you can find there's a couple reasons for this the first one is of course it's cheaper it's easier on your wallet second thing is you're trying out things you want to learn how to use it first you want to get used to the idea of using it for example watercolor um, so it's a way to train yourself to prepare yourself for the more expensive products and then the third one is I mean maybe you don't even like it so if you try watercolor for the first time why would you spend so much money on an actual like professional set um, when you can just buy a cheaper brand and just try it with the cheaper one first because you don't know maybe you don't like watercolor so for this challenge we are going to be painting with a euro store a <laughs> dollar store I should say um, kind of branded art supplies and we're gonna be doing watercolor so we've got a set of 12 here this is from um, a store I can't remember the name of the store right now I think it's called Mac guys Mac guys for my German viewers you guys probably know it's like a euro store has really cheap stuff and um, you can get the set there uh, I actually don't remember the price but it was definitely a couple euros and um, this includes 12 watercolors and it also includes a tube of white paint. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to use it. You guys can see it here. It looks pretty cool. It's for school and for hobby art. So it's for children and I think it's a fantastic um, product. And in addition to that, of course, to fit the theme, we are going to be painting with paint brushes that are also from the same store and uh, approximately the same price. So for <laughs> a euro, if not a euro 50 or so. And there's 10 of them, different sizes, different thicknesses. I'm going to be drawing something. We're going to see if it turns out um, and we're going to see how the colors react and you know how to blend and how to use a cheaper set of watercolors. Before we get started, um, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really does support me and do subscribe and also check out my social media down below, Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, and uh, yeah, yeah, your support means the world to me, honestly. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna open up the Kids World 12 Deck Farben, huh, which I'm assuming translates directly to 12 um, color deck. Could that be it? I don't know. German German subscribers, please do correct me. And das ist für Schule und Hobby. So that's for school and hobby. And there's one tube of white paint. So let's open it up. Oh, it's backwards. And actually, you know what? For like a little um, over a euro, this is looking pretty cool. There's a case, which is really nice for children. Oh my gosh. If we open it up, oh my god. Oh my god, what is this professional watercolor? These definitely do not look like this back in my Canadian art stores, or sorry, dollar stores. So here we've got, uh, oh this is really cool actually. So we've got the little um, watercolors which are actually, whoa, they're like stuck in the plastic which is really nice for children. And there's actually the colors, look at that, the colors of Deutsch in, in, in German. So for someone like me who's learning German, this is like, oh my god. What is this? This is perfect. Blau Grün. Yeah, this is a nice color. I have to say, right off the bat, the colors look beautiful. Look, look at that purple. Yeah, and there's also the little tube of white paint, so we're gonna definitely take advantage of this. Um, and this is how the actual palette looks like. Wow, I'm impressed. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, so let's open up the paintbrushes. Okay, so. We've got the paintbrushes now. Of course, paintbrushes, cheap paintbrushes, are not really the best quality, and that has been known through the board, regardless of where you live. I would, I would think. Um, you can see that it's like super uneven. I, I don't even know why I'm doing a product review right now. 
Uh, but yeah, they're pretty hairy and like all over the place. Looks like my hair in the morning when I wake up. And I'm probably gonna expect to lose brussels or I think that's what they're called, right? Like the paint brussels um, while I'm painting. But nevertheless, let's get started. So for the face, I think I'm gonna use the big one here. This is the num number 10. And we're gonna be mixing some colors. <laughs> I'm actually so excited. Okay, so let's dip the... Ooh, ooh, oh yeah. I'm dipping the paintbrush in water and it looks awesome. Okay, so let's mix some colors. Maybe I'll show you. We're gonna mix the ochre yellow. Ochre, yeah, see I'm already losing brussels. <laughs> this is the only thing with kids things that um, it's not really fun to deal with. Okay, so I'm mixing the ochre yellow with the burnt sienna. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a hairy painting, guys. There's hair everywhere. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> Ew. Okay. She's gonna be a hairy girl. It's all good. Let's get started. I mixed the burnt, uh, the ochre yellow with the burnt sienna. So this is to give it a kind of um, natural skin tone. Oh god, gross. Oh god, there's hair all over her. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh, do you see that? She has a mustache. Woohoo! She's got a, a bad case of hairy face, guys. We shouldn't discriminate against her. It's okay. It's all good. So to basically pick up the hairs, you just need a wet brush and just kind of go over top of it and it will somehow pick it up on the brush. Sometimes, not always though. So like here. I really hate that. I hate finding hair. Like, I'm one of those people that when I go to the restaurant, I always take a look at my food before I eat something and um, just to assess if there's hair in it. And honestly, every single time I will find hair and it's been kind of a running gag in my family where I can spot hair like a hawk. And um, it's always so disgusting. It's like one of those horrible curses. I guess that's what happens when you pay attention to detail. You're just like, you can see things that you're not supposed to see in your food. We're gonna add some touches of pink. Now I don't actually have a good pink color, so I have to kind of mix it. I have the uh, the red here, and then the kind of fuchsia or the yeah, the fuchsia magenta, I should say. So we're gonna mix a little bit of these two colors. So guys, if you guys are starting off, don't be hesitant to mix colors. So you can see here, I made probably can't see it, but here I made a like purplish or sorry, a pinkish kind of skin tone. We're just going to add a bit of pink to her face. Okay, so now that the uh, painting has dried a little bit, a little, a little, a little, a little. <laughs> now that the painting has dried a little bit, we're going to go into the finer details around the shadows with the thinnest. So number one, the smallest brush I have available in this set. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix in the red and the browns together. Let's paint the hair. So it's hair time. We're gonna be painting it with purple now that the actual around is a little bit dry. So I don't ha I don't risk the. Um, like the paints actually blending in together, like the purple going into the face, for example. You just have to be careful when you do that. So we're gonna paint the hair purple. She's gonna be like a little um, fairy kind of character. Want some purple. I think we're gonna add some blues in there as well. Maybe do some like mermaid hair kind of style, I think. I think that's the general idea.
So now in typical brushes and bunnies fashion, we're going to go ahead and just do a little bit more detail with pencil crayon so you guys can use any sort of pencil crayon. I'll just be using my polychromos. It is not a cheap product, but this entire video is just for the watercolor set. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and clean up a bit and um, just, yeah, we'll see how that works out. I'm not going to be doing too much, we're just going to be doing around the eyes mostly. So at this point throughout the video, I did use the white paint and I did mix it up with some of the watercolor and I used the white paint around the highlighted areas of her face and on her hair and I mixed it in with some of the blue for example and also some of the skin tone of the, the ochre and the burnt sienna. So this was just to make it a little bit more unison. You could see that the skin color actually ended up blending really nicely and I was able to create a nice overall layout or layer of um, a smooth skin color. Basically, you can consider this paint as being a white gouache paint that you can mix in with different watercolors and use it as a thicker layer above the other watercolor layers. So I thought it was pretty fun to use and I was actually really surprised that they included it in the kids set. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I think that she turned out pretty cute. I had some troubles with her eyes, but that's basically it. Um, I think that the paint actually worked really well. You just have an issue afterwards with applying different types of materials on top, like marker and a little bit of pencil crayon. But if you want to work with watercolor and pencil crayon, the cheap watercolors will definitely work depending on the quality of them. I paid for like about a, uh, over a euro for these watercolors and they worked really well and I'm so surprised by it. Um, so you can see that the paints actually were blendable. Um, the colors worked really well together and yeah, it was, it worked out pretty uh, better than I expected so I'm actually quite pleased so guys this is just a reminder that cheaper products will also provide you with a pretty good starting base in terms of um, if you want to try watercolor for example and um, don't hesitate to buy the cheaper stuff first and try it out before you actually get into the actual skill because maybe you won't like it maybe you will um, but just test how to blend how to use colors how to mix and um, play around before you invest in something more expensive. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys very soon. 